Okay, so, you know, I just want to share something with everybody because, you know, I'm kind of an open book. Um, you know, a few years ago, I was diagnosed with uh, multiple myeloma, which is like a blood cancer. And uh, the best way I can describe it, according to my doctor, is there's a certain threshold that you have to hit in order for it to be considered active. Uh, that threshold is like 10%. I am currently at 8%, okay? I'm at 8%. Um, so if you if you go 10% or over, then they gotta start giving you like chemotherapy and they gotta start doing like all this, this stuff. And so I just got off the phone with my doctor. You know, I told him, I said, yeah, you know, doc, I, I've lost about 40 pounds. I've, I've changed my diet. Uh, and this doctor is over at, um, CBCC, the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center here in Bakersfield, California. And, you know, I start, I was asking him a few questions. I, I said, you know, so I said, you know, like, how do you, like, is there anything that you can do to like, you know, I don't know, maybe help heal yourself? And he's like, ah, no, there's nothing you can do. Um, and so he he's looking at my numbers from my blood test from the other day. And he looked at the urine and he said, you know, um, um, it looks like there was some uh, protein in my urine. And because of that, um, it, it, it gives him a little pause for some concern. And that concern is, is that um, sometimes I guess it, it goes out of your bloodstream and then it gets straight into your organs. And so he was saying that, you know, what, what would happen is, um, is my kidneys would just shut down, you know, and you know, it's, you know, when you hear stuff like this, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's scary, you know, cause it's like, you know, literally like someone's telling you like, yo, there's like something possibly wrong with you. And, and he says, you know, and we, so he's like, hey, I need you to, you know, we come in. I need you to do a, a, a urine samples where, you know, basically I collect my urine for a day. And, and then, um, I, you know, let's do another bone scan just to make sure like no lesions have, have started to appear on your bones. Because that, I guess that's one of the, the symptoms of this uh, disease. And, um, you know, like... It, it, like taking in that information can be like, oh man, you know, like you're trying to do right. You're trying to, you know, eat the right things, not drink this, not eat that. And, you know, you're trying to keep your, your diet and your exercise. Now I knew this last year when I talked to him a year ago. So, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you go, man, how, how the hell does Mike go everywhere or Mike why is my and and, and I'll um here's the why because every day when I wake up I'm like I'm literally rolling the dice I'm literally rolling the dice because I don't know if today's gonna be the day where my body just says ah, you know fuck it you know you're gonna go on chemotherapy you know because I, I have no control over it there's nothing that I can do to control it so last year when it finally because this I got diagnosed like two years ago and it took a year for me to kind of process like what he was actually saying so after last year like I was like yo I'm not waiting anymore I don't have time to wait I don't have time to waste if 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 you come into my circle of my space and you don't bring me something good yo you can't come into my circle of my space because I don't have time to waste. I'm not wasting my time. I've gotten up to 48 years and, and some change. And, you know, I don't know how much more time I have going this way. I know how much time has gone past, but this way, I, I don't know. So every day I wake up and I'm it's a roll of the dice. Is today going to be the day, you know? Because if I don't go see this doctor, you know, he's like, yo, you know, your kidneys could just shut down on you one day. And there's no... There's no sign of it. You know? So, you know, I'm processing this information. But what I wanted to let everyone know is like, yo, you know, yeah, I, I, my life is dope and I do dope shit. But, you know, th this is the other side of it, too. And this is and this is why I do what I do, because I don't wait. 
I'm not waiting for some fucking magical day for me to decide I'm going to go live my life now. I'm going to go to all these basketball games. I'm going to go travel. I'm going to go. Nah, I, I decided last year, fuck that. I'm, I'm going to do it now. Because I already know that tomorrow, I truly, tomorrow is not promised for me. It's not. It's why I document everything. This is why I do it. And I'm not going to waste time anymore. And I haven't been wasting time. And I would encourage you, stop wasting time. If someone is in your life that's not, you know, at least trying to help make you better, stop wasting time. If, if you are going to stress and slave over something that's stupid, yo, you're just wasting time because you don't know how much time is this way. You know what I'm saying? So I only like to do things that I love doing. I only like to be around people that I love. So if I give you my time, it's because, yo, I, I, I fucking love you. I, really, that's what it is. I love you. If I give you my time, if I call you, if I text you, if I run into you and we chop it up, if I do something, like, it's because I love you. That's how I give my love. Do the same. Be picky about your time. Not everyone is deserving of your time, especially if they're just going to drain you and waste time. Time is precious. You don't get it back. So here's the other side to my dope ass life. This is the other side, the side of, ah, man, I was hoping for a better phone call today. But that, you know, shit happens, right? And I'm not asking for anyone's sympathy. I'm not asking, don't pray for me, pray for yourself. Pray that you unlock yourself and your thinking and what you're doing. I, I already unlocked myself. I'm doing everything that I wanna do. I go where I wanna go. I work the way I wanna work. I do, I, my life is fantastic. This is how I envision my life. I pray that you pray for yourself, that your life becomes what you want it to be. My life is dope and I just do dope shit.